So, here we are driving in the world's happiest country. And this is how the happy people of Finland drive around Helsinki on the Ring Road 1, on the busiest part of the busiest road in Finland. Uh, today's a national holiday epiphany, and there are less cars here than usually. So it's probably a little bit more stressful on a typical Monday morning. So today the weather is great. Uh, we don't get a lot of sunshine this time of the year because of the high latitude and the low clouds that we usually have in the winter. And the temperature is around minus 8 uh, centigrade, so that's 17 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have snow and ice on the road, uh, but driving here is not really all that hard with all the modern driving aids and uh, Nordic winter tires. And so it's pretty easy even with this um, light powerful uh, rear drive car. So what should you be mindful of when driving here in the winter? Uh, first thing that comes to mind are the tires. Uh, you need to have Nordic winter tires, either studded or studless. And the tires should have the M plus S mud and snow and the three peak mountain with the snowflake symbol on them. With the studded tires you have to check that there are enough studs as well as at least three millimeters of tire thread left. I guess if you're driving a rental then typically they have good tires but um, I've noticed around the parking lots that the Finns don't usually have such good winter tires so maybe you want to be aware of that if you're borrowing a car from a Finnish friend or getting one through a car sharing app. Another thing that comes to mind are the wintry highway ramps. The ramps are often icy so in the off ramps you need to reduce speed before the curve and even with the ABS you can run into trouble if you try to brake and turn at the same time. And if you pause the video here you can actually see that some tracks in the snow where people have made that exact mistake. When merging to a highway it's sometimes difficult to accelerate if you don't have all-wheel drive so try to build up enough speed but not too much uh, early on and I guess it's probably the safest to try to slip right behind someone but then if there is a lot of this kind of powdery snow it can cause bad visibility for a couple of seconds so you need to be aware of that. And what you're now seeing is someone with really big balls driving a 1957 Dodge Coronet Coupe. That car has no traction control nor ABS. It's rear wheel drive, has a really long uh, wheelbase and still enough horsepower to get you into real trouble in the winter. Also uh, that car was built with the 1950s safety standard so no seat belts. Uh, probably some features that will slice your body on impact if you have a crash. So pretty much a coffin on wheels in these winter conditions. Well, another wind driving tip is maybe to leave a gap in front of you while waiting in the traffic lights. And as there is a car coming to line up behind you, you can then close the gap and give the driver behind you some more space to stop their car. And maybe that way you can reduce the chance of someone rear-ending you at the traffic lights. There won't be any big slides or donuts for you in this video, but if you're driving here in the winter, you can do slides with a rear-wheel drive in almost all turns without ruining the tires too much if that's what you enjoy.